Idris Abdul Karim, he recounts his um, 50 Cent saga and he's saying Festus Kiyamu betrayed him, Charlie Boy betrayed him, but then he still maintains um, that he paved the way for a lot of um, Nigerian artists to be respected in the industry mm. and that he's very proud of that and happy that he is alive to see all that happen. So I uh, think that's one thing he, I'm happy for him for mm. being alive to see what he hopes to happen come through. I like I like I like the way he went about this because I think I said it last week that he actually paved the way for a lot. Like I I I also recounted that my brother was at that same concert, and it was the fact that um, they wanted to treat Nigerian artists lesser mm -hmm. in their own home mm -hmm. and give Fifty Cent that king treatment. And Fifty I said Fifty and Idris wasn't having it because so. according to him he had a contract with them that says however you treat 50 is the same way you're going to treat me because at the time according to him he sold 4.6 million albums even in the midst of piracy so, so i mean imagine a 50 cent coming into this place right now and he tell us all of you move to one room move to one room 50 cent is coming mm. how would you feel that's the same way it is like they were backstage. Nigerian artists were backstage. He even mentioned names. He said 21 week. He said KC. He said all of them. They told 50 cents is coming. Get out of the backstage. And all of them were running hmm. to leave the backstage. But him and his crew, they stood their ground and they were like, no. Well, according to him, that wasn't even where it escalated. They escalated on the jets mm -hmm. when they were already in the um, airplane and 50 cent crew came in and expected that they were supposed to leave or that the jet was supposed to be private so you know i said something last week when i said the issue wasn't just about 50 cents and idris it mm. was also about the organizers the and, and the that was what he also brought to light in this his narration again to make he said um 50 went back to the organizers to say but we asked for a private jet why do we have people in the private jet and then they sent him back to say oh you can tell them to leave which is where i think he said charlie boy also told 50 that it wasn't in his place to come and tell anybody to leave even if he didn't know them as an artist even if you felt like the person is a i don't know the least person that can be on a plane now even if you felt that was the case you should have waited for the organizers to do the right thing so clearly the organizers knew that they were not keeping to contract and then they try to stay away from it and 50 being a hothead clearly he he didn't start being hothead now he's always been a mm. hothead so he wanted to show idris that Won't you, be one you know if you get up times? <laughs> <laughs> well I, I just think um i i don't know what this recounting is doing for me or going to do for anyone um i think some clef okay I'm sorry I have to drag some clap into this. Okay. I think it's trying. just smiling like something that was somebody. I think it's trying so hard to stay relevant, you know, with the whole Yemi and Lati YC, with the whole Bonner Boy. Like, I don't understand what some. I hope he's dropping hits so, to back up this. I, just, I don't know what some clef is drag, driving at, right? But I think some clef should do more music that we know you for bro than all of this so i don't understand all this back and forth trying to get people involved in your life and all of that bro work on music that's what we know sam clef for you're not a presenter if you want to be a presenter come get my job <laughs> <laughs> the funny part where he was trying to say something was like hey in america yeah here mm. in america yeah, yeah. like okay so with, now we know you're in america with a funny accent. so what with a funny accent like bro that's not how you talk we know you Oh, you do? Okay.